Hey you guys, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and if you haven't already, please, please, please join the Alleyways family. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so we can include you in the subscriber shout out. This is our special way of acknowledging you, thanking you, and just introducing you to the rest of the Alleyways family. We are so excited you're here. We're gonna shout out some subscribers, the end of today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my older sister, Courtney. Hi. She is a fellow Disney lover, and we thought it'd be fun to get together and talk about most underrated Disney animated movies. Yes. So we each have put together a top five. We're going to start at five and count down all the way to the number one most underrated. You ready? Yay. Yes. Let's go. Okay. What's your number five? Okay. My number five is Robin Hood. I think that is such a good movie. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love I love all the characters. I love that they did it with animals, actually. Yeah. I thought that was, when I was young, it was just so fun and kind of inventive. And yes. I thought Robin Hood was such a heartthrob. I did too. He's still <laughs> He's watching fox, it as an adult. I'm like, wow, that he is dreamy. He is. It's the he attitude. He's a voice actor. It is the attitude. I don't know. Such a gentleman. He is. He's, well, he's a got a good cause. Yeah, and the way he loves Maid Marian. Yeah, he's devoted. He's he is, loyal. He's very loyal. He's an ideal gent. Yes, he is. And also, um, Roger Miller was the original Phil Collins. He did all the music for Robin Hood. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, interesting. Which, you know, now there's not that many people I can think of like Phil Collins that have done the entire soundtrack for a mm -hmm. movie. By Roger Miller. Well, there you go. That was interesting. Yeah. But I just, I love it. I think it's great. I think it's fun. I love how petulant Prince John is. Hilarious. And I love the dynamic between he and Sir Hiss. <laughs> Sir Hiss so, is so good. I know. He's like, I love it. He's like, Hiss, you're never around when I need you. I love that. <laughs> that's like one of my favorite lines. I love that. So I just, I think that's a great movie. Yeah. And plus that's a classic story. This It's just a good story. It is a good it's story. It's well told with Disney. And a lot of really classic Disney voice actors in that one. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, okay. My number five was Treasure Planet. Oh, that's one of George's favorites. I didn't know about it until yeah. you guys told me about mm -hmm. it, and I wondered why I had missed it because I think, like you said about Robin Hood, Treasure Planet, they, they just made it so inventive, mm -hmm. and the animation yeah. was really beautiful. I just think of it as like a very saturated, full color kind of movie, and I love the music that they chose. Yes. It was just very different from any other kind of Disney movie. Yeah. And I love the characters. You fall in love with the characters, and it just keeps you excited the whole way, and there's lots of twists and turns. Well, and I think that Long John Silver is a really interesting kind of... He's not exactly the villain. No. And so I think that's why he's interesting, because you kind of root for him, even though he's a little bit of a bad guy. He's not fully a bad no, guy. No, you so, do root for him the whole time. So you movie. do like him, and you don't... It's like you you don't want Jem to get betrayed by him. You want their relationship to keep yeah. growing, because it does seem like they're... You know, they want like a nice redemption kind of arc. Father son almost dynamic there. Yes. Or mentor kind of dynamic. Yes. Oh, here's Pippa. Hi, Pippa. Hi, Pippa. So, for those reasons, that was my number five. Yes, good choice. What was your number four? Okay. My number four pick was The Great Mouse Detective. I love the great I love that movie. I think it's got a lot of really funny lines in it. Mm -hmm. And I love Vincent Price. Yes. I. I Love his voice. I love his acting. He is the perfect Radigan. Mm -hmm. He's like such a debonair villain. He is. He's one of the most classic voices of all time. Oh, yeah. And the most classic villains of all time. Yes, definitely. He really was just incredible. And he actually said that Great Mouse Detective was the work that he was most proud of. I didn't know that. I know. Isn't that awesome? That's really cool because he did so much. I know. He did just an enormous amount of number of films and so yeah. that uh I love that movie I like the animation style it's kind of that how we, I, almost like messy animation mm -hmm. like 101 Dalmatians if that makes sense it's kind of a messy style of animation where maybe they didn't do full cleanup of all the lines yeah um but I really like that I love it it's very cozy feeling that it movie. is cozy I would I think that's a great way to describe it. And mm -hmm. I do think it's like the mystery element of things is fun. Yeah. And I like the the bat 
henchman. I love the bat. I think What's his he's name? Funny. I can't remember. Hold on, I gotta look that up. We gotta look the it bat up. is so funny. Yeah, he's hilarious. Yes. So my number four was Robin Hood. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I think it's so underrated because all the reasons that you talked about. It's a classic story, an incredible mm -hmm. soundtrack, yeah. solid vocal performances, and it has a little bit of everything. It has love, it has action, it has adventure, adventure it mm -hmm. has comedy, yeah. and I just think that it's one of the m movies that I look back on most fondly from our childhood. Oh yeah, definitely. Because our think... brother also loves Robin Hood, mm -hmm. so we watched Hunter. it a lot. Hunter really wanted to be Robin Hood. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so we watched it a lot, and I do have, it does, it's very nostalgic. Yes, he definitely did want to be Robin Hood, and yeah. we were always flayed by plastic swords. <laughs> yeah, yes, and bow and arrows. Yes. Nerf bow and arrows. Oh my gosh. Got pulled yes. to buy those a time or two. Yeah. He literally is famous for saying, I'd be the good guy, you'd be the bad guy. Yes. That yeah. was like his, that was his tagline when he was little. Yes. Okay, the bat's name is Fidget. Fidget. Okay. His, that voice was hilarious. I know, it's so funny. I love that. Yeah. Okay, what was your number three? My number three is Emperor's New Groove. I think that movie is hysterical. The funniest is the Oh movie. my gosh, it's so funny. Yeah. I, David Spade, David Spade? Yeah, yeah, David, David Spade. Spade. David, Spade. I was like, is that right? Yeah. Yes, David Spade is hilarious. I love like how sarcastic he is mm -hmm. and how he always acts so put upon. I know. And Kronk is one of my all-time favorite sidekicks. Yeah. He is just a riot, and I love he and um, Isma's dynamic. Uh, I do, I I just love actually all the dynamic between. Um, Pacha and, and Cusco yes. and then Yzma and uh, Kronk oh. and then I love uh, Pacha's kids yes. the way they... and their dynamic yes. with Yzma. It's so it is it's so funny and I love how like tongue in cheek everything is with it too. And the mother, Pacha's wife. Oh yeah, she's great. She's amazing it too. Is. I also just so hilarious. It just reminds me of like the classic mom that just has to roll with insanity. Yes, all the time. Yeah, yeah. but you. Now can relate to you, I'm yeah, sure. Definitely. Yes. Great pick. I know, I love that one. I just now I want to watch that it. one's great. I know that one is so funny. Okay. So it's got some of my favorite lines in it also. My number three was Great Mouse Detective. Oh, I thought we would have a yeah. lot of overlap. Mm -hmm. I love Great Mouse Detective. I love the Radigan song. I've loved that since I was little. I used to sing it all hilarious. the time when I was little and like spin in an office chair if I could to like be like <laughs> Radigan, like the boss in the big chair. Yeah. I just loved it. I love, like you said, the animation mm -hmm. where there's not, it's not like other Disney films where there's like just elaborate detail in all the background and all the characters. Mm -hmm. It's it's You're more right. like a rough style. Yeah, which I love. I love the color palette. And there's just something so magical about that movie that makes me, you know, when I'm like walking past um, somewhere on the street, I'm like, I wonder if a mouse has a little house in there with like <laughs> tiny little furniture and a little fireplace. Yeah. Like, Playing his violin. <laughs> yes, I love thinking yeah. about that. Yeah, and I love... World's like, Greatest Criminal Mind is one of the best songs. It is too. so good. And that song is so A great hilarious. villain song. Yeah. Maybe we should rate villain songs sometime. We totally should do that. We that definitely would be fun. should. Yeah, I'm all for that. That is a great song, and I love the little girl. Um, oh, Olivia. yes. Yeah, she's so cute and yes. sweet. And I love that she's like, Toby. Toby. I love the way she's like, Toby. Toby. <laughs> Toby. The way she says, Toby. <laughs> This is so Toby. cute, and I do love Toby. Too. I love Toby too, and I love what's the sidekick's name? The Ponchy kind of sidekick. Uh, he's great. He's so yeah, sweet. Yeah, what is his name? And I can't. We're forgetting the name. What is wrong with this? I haven't seen that movie in too long. That's I've the seen it recently. I uh, see. I haven't. I haven't watched that one in a really long time, and I really like it. Um, I love it too. It's fun to think about these because then you can go back and you know discover something else. Yes. Um. Dr. David Q, let's see, uh, let's see, here's the IMDb. I, but I do love that character because he's so sweet and gentle and he has to find his courage as the movie goes, you yes. know, it's just yeah. so sweet and of course, um, Basil of Baker Street is classic and I also love Vincent Price. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to see legends do Disney. Yes, it is. It's, oh. Dr. David Q. Dawson. Oh, okay. Dawson. Love that character. Dawson. But just in yes. like 
Yeah, like you said, Vincent Price is just so great, so classic. He is a treasure. He is a treasure. He is. And we need to honor him more than just in the month of October. <laughs> I know. But yeah, so Great Mouse Detective was my number three. Good pick. Good pick. Yeah. What okay. was your number two? My number two is Hercules. <laughs> Me too. Oh my goodness. Mine too. I love yeah. that movie. I, I love watched that too. movie. I watched that movie actually kind of a lot. Yeah. It just I don't know what it is. A lot of times whenever I'm just trying to... I don't know, clean up the house, or I've got like a project going, I'm like, oh, I'll put on Hercules. Yeah. <laughs> I just Pick. love it. I, you know, one of my favorite parts of that movie is that they have that kind of, uh, the muses yes, during the narration. the muses are amazing. Yes, they're awesome. I yes. love how they animated them. I actually love all of the animation for that, but I do love how they animated the muses, mm -hmm. and I really like that they did it kind of like a church choir. I love that too. Type. It's so, it's so creative. It is. It was so so fun, and then yeah. when you when you really pay attention to the lyrics too, they were so clever. Oh yeah, if you watch it with closed caption on, yes, because their songs can get really quick. Yeah, that's what, one of my favorite lines that they sing is they're like, "Whose daring deeds make great theater." Yes, and, I love in that. that Hercules song, I love that. It's just so funny. I know, and that it's. It is really creative to have them narrate. Yes. Because they could have just done a Zeus type voice, but yeah. having the songs do the narration and they really hit all the tones of the mood oh, of the they did. movie throughout. And, and I just... love it. That movie's just like fun and playful. It's like a, a good, like joyful romp to yeah. me. It is. And I, I, I love Hercules. I think he's so just Pure. precious and sweet. I know. I he's know. So just cute you just want to cuddle him up i know because he's so sweet and just hurt you just your heart hurts i know when you're when he's all like gangly and awkward and you're like it's okay i'll be your friend i was too don't worry <laughs> and your heart hurts for him and his his parents are so sweet i love his parents I they're love so his parents. great his and earth I, parents and i like to i I enjoy Greek mythology a lot, Me too. and so it was just fun to see Disney do a take on a classic Greek myth. And I love how they styled the animation after ancient Greek artwork. Yes, so a lot of architecture were yeah. imitated the lines that you saw in your textbooks in school. Yeah, kind of really like the like the squares. Yeah, that which, you see, yes. like kind of like the inlaid squares and things like yes. that. Yes, that and really cool. Phil. Oh yeah. And I love Danny the way. Vito. Oh, he's great. Yeah. And then I love too the way they animated all the different Greek gods and goddesses. Mm -hmm. Those were so good because you're like, oh, that was Aphrodite. Like it was fun because you could pick up just from the way they were animated yeah. who they were without them being introduced. And it was really that yeah, was really cool. Yeah, that and was the a great soundtrack idea. Soundtrack is one of the best Disney soundtracks. Oh, I I do. I like I said, I love that music. I think it's just so fun. Yeah, so. I really wanna. This is just gonna be my list of movies to watch. I now. know. I know that one's a good one. You yeah. gotta rewatch that one again. I will. Okay, what's your number one? Can you guess? No. Okay. Lilo and Stitch. Oh I yeah. Love yes. that movie. I I love it. And you know and it, it is underrated. It is. I mean, maybe. Oh, come oh, here, buddy. that's Max crying. Come here, sweet thing. You come here. You can sit up here. With Look, us. everybody. This is Max. This is Max. <laughs> Say hi. Say Max hi, wants buddy. to be in the video. Yeah, and he wants. To, he needs some cuddle time. Yeah. Um, Lilo and Stitch. I, I didn't even think about that. Absolutely love list. that movie. I think it's just precious. I adore Nani. Mm -hmm. I think she's so wonderful because you think like. I, I guess as I got older, I appreciated the movie more and more because you think here's this young woman who lost her parents who had to completely have her life turned upside down not just because of the loss of her parents but then she is all of a sudden a parent to her younger sister and how difficult that would be and I love how sweet she is and yeah. she totally rolls with Lilo's kind of uh eccentricities yes <laughs> like yeah and then, she doesn't try and stymie her spirit not at all and that, like one of my favorite things is when um Nani gets fired because Lilo and Stitch acted up at her work and she's like did you get fired because of Stitch and I and she's like no managers and vampire he tried to get us to be to join his legion of the undead I love that too <laughs> and, well and then like when you get older 
shoulder. You so appreciate. You're like, oh, she's like really trying to I comfort know. her. <laughs> I'm just getting emotional thinking about it. My <laughs> eyes are getting misty because Lulu and stuff makes me cry every time I know. I, watch I cry it. like a baby. I I, I cry like embarrassingly every time <sighs> I watch that. And it's funny because like I said, the older I get, the more places that I cry at it. Yes, because I remember when I was little, first time watching it, whenever she's singing to Lulu before she gets taken away, I was like, Oh. And then in the end, obviously, Lilo, you've had 10 years or more with Lilo and Stitch at the end when Stitch doesn't want to go home. Or like 20 years. But yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Probably more like 20 years. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it just, it, but now to you, I cry all throughout it. It mm -hmm. just, it it's, makes it really emotional. pulls at your heart It does. Also really good animation and different because I feel like the backgrounds in Lilo and Stitch are so stagnant. Yeah, they're kind of like watercolor almost yes. with the background. And then they bring, it really brings the animation to the forefront. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's really pretty. And I love that it takes place in Hawaii. Me That's too. one thing. Anytime I feel like in the mood for vacation is when I want to watch it's, Lilo and Stitch. It's like a great summer kickoff. It is. Movie. It definitely is. We also love Elvis. Yes. Huge giant Elvis fan, yeah. and I absolutely love that they put all kinds of Elvis songs in that. We love that. And that's yes. such a good pick for number one. I love that movie. So great. Okay, let me hear your number one. You, I think I know what it is. Emperor's New Groove. Yep. yep, you knew I would put it. You yeah. guys know it. I love this movie. If you can produce a funnier Disney movie, then I will show you a liar. It is the funniest <laughs> Disney movie, hands down. It is like, hilarious. It, 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 it's just hilarious. I love the animation style. Mm -hmm. I feel like they also really did try to create the animation style to be similar to some of the art or kind of feel or vibe of, you know, the ink and culture. Yeah. And I thought that was really neat. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, love the scenery. Oh, but yeah. It's, it is all about the comedy. It's all about the vocal performance. It's all about the dynamics yes. between the characters. I just absolutely love it, and I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better villain than Isma. Oh who, my gosh, as she's... evil as she is, you just want more and more of her. Oh, I know she's so hilarious, and Eartha yeah. Kitt is amazing. Eartha she Kitt's is a legend. She got such an. She just did an incredible job yeah. with that character. Yes, she was perfect, and of course we love Crunk, David Spade, like mm -hmm. you said, and um. What is it? John Goodman. John Goodman. It was yeah. just a star-studded cast. And I love like that. Why do you even have that lever? I Lines know. like that. Yes. Or, like, things like, and they're like, oh, by all accounts, it makes no sense. I know. <laughs> and I also love when he's like, yeah, you would have figured with him, you raising him, he would have turned out better. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, yeah, go figure. It's so, <laughs> it's so funny. funny. And I love how much they make Cusco like Yzma. Yes. Which yeah. is hilarious. Yes. It, it just makes it her her influence on his upbringing for sure. Absolutely. And so for that reason, it's my mm -hmm. number one. Good pick. Most underrated. And one of my favorite Disney films. Oh yeah. That one is, it's a great one. Yeah. So it is so good. Oh, this is fun. I know. So what are y'all's favorite underrated Disney films? Yeah. I actually have a question. We were debating this. Jungle Book, do you guys think that one is underrated? Because I, it's one of my absolute favorites. Mm -hmm. And I was like, is Jungle Book underrated? We couldn't decide. We couldn't, I kind of think it is. I because I don't think it gets the attention of like the princess flicks. That's probably true. But I, Jungle Book, I have to put in there for honorable mention. Because yeah. I absolutely love the music in Jungle Book. I love Great that story. Yes. I love everything about that movie. So if you guys think that one's underrated, you have to put that on the list. Yes. Because that, that one is great. great. Yes. Okay, we're gonna now shout out some subscribers. Yay! So today's subscriber shout out goes to Caroline Chapman. Caroline, you have been so sweet. You came over to the channel from actually seeing the film Remember the Goal in the Perfect oh, Race. Hey, good. Courtney is actually in the Perfect Race. You'll see her in the end. She plays the very beautiful nurse at the <laughs> hospital. But you shared such kind words about the film, and it means so much to me that you took the time and just your energy to come and find the channel and have been on premieres and commenting. That's so kind and I just wanna thank you so much for your support. It truly means the world. All right, you guys, that is it for today's yeah. video. We have decided while we sat here that we are going to film villain songs. So make sure you come back to check that one out. And of yes. course, let us know what you wanna see next time right here on Alleyways. Thank you. Bye.